B News everywhere. And while the mall has uh, perhaps largely failed as a place of commerce, it has absolutely not failed in its presence um, as a central place of gathering for people downtown. From commodity to community, a group of Winnipeg organizations have put forward a plan to turn Portage Place Mall into a community hub. We brought together a coalition of community voices to help inform the project because we felt that if the private sector and government can listen to the community, then we can build a more successful project for everyone. The group says the plan is based on four major pillars, which include turning the mall into a non-profit community centre, providing affordable housing, implementing a safety plan, and making sure the property is Indigenous-owned. Meeting people's needs creates safety, right? Communities are safer when everybody's needs are met. This comes after Toronto-based developer Starlight backed out of a deal from purchasing the mall last year. Throughout the years, the mall has struggled to attract shoppers, but despite its challenges, it has remained a popular gathering place for people living in the downtown area. Downtown is home for many newcomers, most of whom came from collective societies where meeting places is always a center of their life. In a report called State of the Inner City, researchers say the biggest challenge facing the redevelopment of Portage Place is the Forks North Portage Partnership, which relies on the mall's revenue to benefit the Forks. Three million dollars a year comes out of Portage Place to help subsidize the Forks. And if this project is going to be successful, that parking revenue and all the revenue that is invested in this part of downtown uh, needs to stay downtown. In a statement to City News, a spokesperson for the Forks North Portage Partnership writes, it's important to remember that we don't own the mall itself. The building is under lease for several years. What's important to us going forward is a development plan that is sound, benefits the people who live and work in the area, and represents a significant investment in our downtown. We need more community development, and, and many of the solutions that are out outlined in the report talking about creating more community spaces. Uh, we need to focus on uh, spaces where, uh, where community can gather, community can heal. The group is hoping the mayoral candidates running in the upcoming election will take interest in the proposal to revamp the property and to hopefully turn their vision into a reality. In Winnipeg, Sweet Arassi, City News.